The title says it all. This is something that seems to be said by a lot of Christians. You know, it's not that not just that they don't want us teaching their kids about sex education. They don't want us teaching our kids about sex education or your kids. It doesn't matter what you want. You know, they want to take anything out of schools that protect kids. Plan B, condoms, comprehensive education. It doesn't matter. If they don't like it for their kids, no kids are allowed to have anything to do with it. I have issues with them opting out, but, you know, much as it disgusts me, I guess it's technically their right. I do think, you know, parents are given too many rights in a lot of cases, but, you know, why is it that they get to take their kids out, but then decide, you know, the schools aren't going to teach our kids a proper education either. Now, there's a thing in New York City where they're handing out Plan B. Now, of course, the Christians are trying to say this is, you know, without the parents' permission. The parents have an option of opting out. They're told about it, and they're given the option to opt out. The only thing that isn't done is, if your kids go to get pregnant, or think they're pregnant, they can get Plan B without having to get the parents' permission. And I agree with the young trucks on this set. I think this is a good thing. Because if you think about it, you know, is your kid going to come to you and says, Mom, I think I might be pregnant. I need Plan B. In which case, she's going to wait too long and, you know, it's too late. Especially if she's raped or something. You know, her having the option allows her to get past that problem. But of course, you know, the Christians are having a fit over this, you know, because kids are giving, you know, taught about sex. You because know, it's not like kids get pregnant in New York City already. You know, because giving out Plan B is going to give cause kids to get more pregnant and have more sex. Oh wait, no. Because around seven thousand kids get pregnant in New York City a year under the age of seventeen. Ninety percent of them unplanned. So obviously, there's a problem there. Obviously, what the Christians are doing isn't fucking working. You know, this is bad as abstinence only. I don't, know if ab- I don't know if New York City has abstinence only education. I don't know. But it's the same issue. You know, I hate to say this. I'm going to get some flack from it. You know, but, you know, people don't like saying religious people are insane. But seriously, what is the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over and over and over again when it doesn't work. Obviously, the Christian approach to sex, education and sex, is insanity. It's obviously not working. Yet they're afraid of the alternative, of actually doing anything to stop it, or at least protect against it. Is this what morality really is? Where you will let things go to hell for fear of going to hell? Like you won't stop or work to prove the situation because you'd rather look pious? You know, how much of this is about morality and kids and actually giving a fuck about the kids? How much is being able to stand up and say, I'm holy and righteous because I won't let my kids have sex. You know, do you care anything about other people or is it just an ego trip? Because that's what a lot of this seems to come off as. Because if you cared about the kids and cared about fixing the situation, you find real solutions. I don't know. Comment below let me know your thoughts in this situation because it's kind of frustrating me.